you here. Hello, my name is Luvi. Welcome. So for today's video, since February is fast approaching, I have thought that why not do a junior and senior prom makeup look using drugstore makeup products. Basically, this is the look that I have created and I hope you like it and I am hoping that you get to mimic this look. This is very affordable as I have said, lahat ng ginamit ko is mostly um, drugstore or mostly an affordable makeup products and I know we don't have a lot of time or we don't have enough money to go to a salon lalo na kung self-supporting tayong mga estudyante or tingin mo na ihiya kang manghingi ng pera sa iyong nanay or sa iyong ate or to whoever who is supporting your studies then you can do your own makeup so I hope this video will help you to create your own makeup without breaking your bank. So, hindi mo na kailang pumunta sa salon, hindi mo na kailang pumunta sa professional makeup artist. Just go follow along on every step that I do. And I'm pretty sure you'll get there and you'll rock it. And if you are interested in a step-by-step -step process on how I created this look for your JS Prom, then please give this video a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share mo na rin sa iyong friends, sa iyong kabark, sa iyong pinsan, sa iyong tropa, or sa iyong kaklase na magja-JS ngayon. At tingin mo, kaya niya namang gawin tong look na to. Huwag ka nang mahiya, i-share mo. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. moisturizing cream and I'm using this for my body and my face. As you can see, pa kalahati ko na yung jar because this is my daily moisturizer. I have a pimple right here on my forehead because I just picked it this morning. So, hayaan natin yung dyan. So, if you're going to use a liquid foundation, especially on a prom night or any event na night time, I would advise you to stay away uh, dun sa mga fa liquid foundations containing sun protection formula or yun yung may mga SPF or yun yung may, may sunscreen SPF 15 and above kasi that would give you flashback flashback means when you take a photo or when someone takes photo and then my flash and then when you see your uh, picture coming out you have a white cast right here that's what you call flashback. So now that we have our moisturizer on, we are going to prime our face using this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. And this will just give you a healthy glow. Magpa prime tayo kasi kailangan natin kumapit at matatag yung ating foundation. Dahil of course, it's a party time during prom night. So, syempre magsasayaw ka sa dance floor, makikipag chika, chika ka, it's going to be a long night. So, we have to put primer para matatag yung ating foundation. And as I have said, for the foundation, stay away as much as possible dun sa mga my SPF na foundation. So, for this look, I am going to use this NARS All Day Luminous Liquid Foundation. And I'm in the shade Punjab. This is not a full coverage foundation, but it gives me somehow a good coverage kapag ginagamitan ko to ng brush. So that's what I'm using right now. And then we'll just press it one more time with a beauty sponge. foundation does not uh, match your skin tone so you have to take it down until your neck 
and even your ears, lagyan natin. Although this foundation is a really, really good match to my skin tone. Now, let's press that one more time using a sponge. Alright, now that it's pressed into our skin, we are now going to conceal. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the only concealer that I have, which is the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer, which is obviously, it's so untidy and I'm almost finishing this off. Pang malakas ang concealer yung gagamitin natin. Magi spot concealing din tayo. Kung saan tayo may mga sumpa at may mga dilim ng nakaraan. So, I'll be going to use also the same sponge. with products sa ating face because I have said it's going to be a long night. We will be sweating up so kailangan natin i-secure yung mga liquid foundation na yan at yung ating concealer by setting it with a face powder or loose face powder from Coty Airspun. So just put the powder here sa pakip para hindi tayo masyadong magsasayang ng powder kasi mahal ang powder. Alright. So we just put this all over the face. Let us give warmth to this face using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade of Dulce de Leche. Blank lang yung iyong face, yung walang, walang ibang angulo. So, that's the purpose of bronzing up or contouring. Para hindi naman blank space lang yung iyong face lock. And also, yun din yung ating gagamitin for contouring our nose. define yung ating ginawang contour. We are going to use the same powder, the Coty Airspan powder, para mag -bake. This will give you a sharp look or a defined edge dun sa iyong ginawang bronzer or pagkat ng iyong face. And you do that also on the nose area. I-bake mo rin yung iyong under eye para hindi rin yan mag-crease. Or if you are fine with just simple setting powder na ginawa ko kanina, then that's fine. But I want it something extra, so that's why I'm doing this baking. And also, yan yung aking ginagawang technique para mas define yung aking pagkukontour ng nose. Alright, so now while baking, I'll just go off camera para gawin yung aking brows and I'll be right back. So now that brows are on, I already also dusted off the powder. Just make sure that the nose contour or yung ating illusion sa bridge ay blended very well. So for the eye look, I am going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Rosé in the Air Eyeshadow Palette. But of course, before tayo mag eyeshadow, we are going to prime our eyelid using another drugstore product which is Essence. I love color intensifying eyeshadow base. We will put that right here all over the lid. Ang purpose lang naman nito guys is para mabigyan ng justice yung iyong eyeshadow or para magkaroon ng pigment yung iyong eyeshadow color sa iyong eyelid. So that's it. So kung wala ka naman nito, pwede rin naman yung iyong 
uh, concealer. So, it's just my preference that I am using a particular eyeshadow base. So, let's set that also with powder. So, now for the first color of our eyeshadow, we are going to use this. This transition shade, which is number 10 from this palette. And that will be our transition shade. Alright, now for the second shade, we are going to use this another transition shade, which is light brown right here which is number one and that will be oh my god basha is so playful right now so anyway that will be right here on the crease transition shade para blended yung ating uh, two colors. Now for the next shade, I am going to use this shade number 3. And that will be again on the crease. I think this is going to be the last shade. I am going to use this dark brown right here, which is number 5. Is this 5? Yeah, this is number 5. And I am going to use a flat brush. And that will be all over the lid. dramatic yung ating look. I'm not staying right here onto the uh, natural shape of my eyes. I'm flicking it out. Now for the lower um, eyeshadow, we are going to use the second color that I have used on the upper part which is the second um, transition shade, the light brown. Put that here. this dark brown yung ginamit ko kanina all over the lid is and put that dito sa ating lash line and again go back to that first shade to smudge it right here darken pa ng iyong eyes using a black eyeshadow here onto the lash line. Now for the inner corner, I will be using this shimmery shade right here which is number 7. Yep, number 7 and that will be on the inner corner. Now 
for the lips, I don't have something nude in the drugstore. I want to use a nude lipstick sana. Pero what I have for the nude or for the neutral color is Tarte lipstick. And since it's not drugstore, I might just use a different shade. I am going to use this Revlon lipstick. Since hindi na siya nude, I uh, chose to use a red lipstick to complete this look. Although, I would prefer na gagawin ka ng nude lipstick para sa look na to kasi medyo dramatic na yung iyong eyes. No. Sorry ha. Hindi ko talaga. No. It's not good. Sorry, pero hindi ko talaga gusto yung red lipstick for this eye look. So, I'm going to use this dark lipstick shade name is sis number two and now for the blush i'm going to use this rimmel palette which composes of a highlight blush and contour and i'll be getting of course the blush as you can see na hit ko na rin yung pan and for the highlight i'm going to use this wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder and of course para sa highlight ng ating brow bone i am going to use this white shade right here which is shade number six ito lang yan sa ating arch ng brow palabas so this is the final look guys and lang siguro yung mga side tips ko um make sure na may balance yung iyong uh, damit at yung iyong accessories or if you have layered necklace na then go for a simple uh simple uh, earring. If you have an extra kind of earrings or medyo bold, then let this uh, part dito sa iyong accessories sa necklace itong daw mo ng konti. But then, anything you like, you can go ahead and make sure you rock it and be confident about it. And of course, magpabango ka best. Okay? Spray some perfume. Spray some cologne. So, malay mo, magsasayaw ka magdamagin. Eh. Magsasayaw ka ng buong gabi. So, Mm. And of course, mag-dio tayo. <laughs> wala kang dio best tawas, okay? There's nothing wrong kung gagamit ka ng tawas. So, I hope may natutunan ka sa video na to. Kung feeling mo, magagamit mo to sa nalalapit mong JS Pro, magagamit na iyong kapatid, magagamit ng iyong ate, ng iyong pinsa, ng iyong best friend, ng iyong barkada, ng iyong kaklase, or ng iyong kapitbahay, or even ng iyong kaaway. I-share mo to sa kanya. Give this video a thumbs up kung nag-enjoy ka. And of course, subscribe ka na rin sa channel ko. And hit the notification bell right here para lagi kang updated whenever I upload new videos. Anyway, that's it and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye!